Welcome everyone to our gala for St. Francis School. It's an important event for us because it helps us to raise some money and as you know, we're a Catholic school and we run on a tight budget. I'm Father David Olson, I'm the pastor of St. Francis Parish. I wanna tell you a few things that I've learned since the short time I've been here. I came just March 1st, but I've got to, to see the kids in action in school and in mass and I like what I see. I've gotta say that to start with. I was over at school the other day, listening to Oscar in fourth grade, reading the announcements. He was saying the prayer to start the day, and then he had everyone stand and pledge allegiance. We want our kids to be confident and strong. We want them strong in their faith. We also want them to be patriotic. We think that's a good thing. Our country's got lots of flaws, but we're pretty good. I've had a chance to talk to Grace. She's in kindergarten. She came right up to me and said, hi, my name is Grace Baker. I think that's fantastic that someone will do that. She just introduced herself properly. And then I had a chance to chat with Landon in fifth grade. He and I had a good conversation over lunch one day. So I've gotten to see some of the kids and get to know a few of their names. And I, again, got to say, I like what I see. What sets this apart as a Catholic school is that we have Jesus Christ in the center. There's a sign over there that says, Jesus is the reason for this school. And it truly is. It sets us apart and we need your help because unlike the state school, we can't tax somebody. We have to ask you to help contribute us, contribute to us so that we can continue to do some good. I've got a few ideas for our school for the future. And yes, fundraising is always part of that. I wanna dress it up a little bit. It's not gonna go anywhere. I wanna assure you of that. We're gonna stay as a strong school, but I wanna make it look better. I believe in curb appeal. We're gonna do some of that. I also believe in a strong parish, and so the two will work hand in hand. That's what we need to be doing. That's the direction we're gonna go. We're 75 years old in 2022, so we're gonna celebrate that. But 75 years without a whole lot of work being done on it, we need to do a few things. So. The gala is important for us, and as I said, fundraising is always part of the Catholic tradition, too. I want to invite you, if, if you're a parent and listening to this and maybe don't have children at school here yet, to come take a look at our place. We're pretty good. We're proud of it. I think, actually, we're not just pretty good. We're pretty great. The kids know what it is to make Jesus famous. I've been telling them that that's our real goal, make Jesus famous. If we can do that, if we can have him be the reason for our school, if we can have these young, competent young people say that Jesus makes a difference in their lives, they'll make a difference in the world. And that is ultimately the best thing we can ask for.